In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a really awesome superhero landing. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films, and in today's video, we're talking all about this really awesome superhero landing effect. Now, this effect is actually quite surprisingly really easy, and when you're filming, you only have to do a few basic things to get the footage that you need to edit this effect. So when you're filming the footage, you first need to mount your camera to a tripod. It's super important you're mounted to a tripod because you need to get some footage and a clean plate. And if they're not on the tripod, if they're not matching, then this effect, it's not gonna work. So make sure you mount your camera to a tripod. Now, once you have your camera, you have your tripod, dial in all of your settings to manual, make sure nothing's changing in the shot, and then frame up your shot. Now, in order to do this effect, we basically have to jump up into the air, and when we land, we'll do a really awesome superhero landing, and we'll take the second half of that jump, so the falling part of the jump, and we'll use that as the landing. So the more height you can get on the jump, the better this is. So jump as high as you can, or if you can, jump off a wall, jump off a box, jump off something quite small, but will give you a little bit of extra height from your jump. This will really help you sell the effect. So with your camera mounted to your tripod, all of your settings are in manual. Start rolling, run into the shot, jump up onto the wall, and three, two, one, action. Jump up in the air, and then do an awesome superhero landing. Now, once you've got this shot, immediately leave the frame and leave the camera rolling for around 10 seconds with nothing in the shot. It's really important with this clean shot that you're not in the shot and it's really important that nothing in the background is in the shot that wasn't there before. If something is in the back of this shot that wasn't in the first shot then this is going to make the compositing really difficult and it's going to look really ugly so make sure these two shots are identical minus yourself. And now once you've got both of these shots, you've got the clean plate and the shot of you jumping in the air and landing like an awesome superhero, it's time to drop this onto the computer and launch Adobe After Effects to begin with this effect. So once you've got your footage in Adobe After Effects, you should have your jumping footage on video layer one and you should have your clean plates on video layer two. So your clean plate should be underneath the jumping layer. So scroll through the video and try and find the point in your jump where you start to fall from the jump. So once you found this point, you want to cut this and delete the first part of the video. So your video should start with you falling from the sky. Now, once you found this point, go ahead one keyframe across into the video of you jumping. Selecting that layer, you want to hold Command, Shift and press D, and this should cut the video in that one specific point. And then selecting the first bit, that one very short video, you want to right click, go up to time and press freeze frame. Now that will freeze frame that first bit of that video. So you just want to pull that back a little bit. And we have three frames of this frozen layer. Now we want to go ahead and we want to cut this out. So we'll go up to the pen tool and we'll draw a mask around the outside of the person jumping. And now as soon as you have completed that, as soon as you've completed drawing the mask around yourself, you should now have a layer with just yourself isolated. So now if we drag our cursor towards the end of that frozen video layer clip, we'll press P on the keyboard to load position and we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Now scroll back three frames, scroll back to the beginning and we'll adjust the position up towards the sky. So you want to completely pull yourself off screen. Now if we play this back, you'll see the character falls from the sky but there's a little bit of a jolt where it goes from the frozen layer to the normal video footage. So this is where we need to go ahead and we need to speed up the first part of that footage. So go to the point where you just make contact with the ground and press Command Shift D to separate that video. And select the first part of that video, go up to time, time stretch, and you just want to speed this up just a little bit. So we'll pull this to 70%. Now, if we play this back, you'll see that's much quicker. That's much more believable. But again, there is a little bit of a stutter as we're coming from the frozen layer to the real footage. So we're just going to separate that first bit one more time. And the first section, we're going to speed that up one more time. So we'll go into time stretch again and we'll adjust this to 40%. So now when we play this back, you'll see this looks a lot more realistic. So go ahead, drag all of your video clips back together, fine tune, fine -tune all of those adjustments. And when we play this back from the very beginning, we have a fairly believable fall from the sky. This looks pretty decent, but the problem is you can still kind of tell this isn't quite real life. You can kind of tell there has been some editing done to this, 
So this is where we're going to add some fake camera movements to really hide those cuts. So we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new null object. So we're going to layer, new, null object, and we'll select all of the video layers and drag the pit whip tool over onto null one. So we're gonna parent all of those layers to the null object. Now we're going to transform in the null object, increase the scale to around 150%, and we'll drag the position all the way up to the very top. So the top of the footage should be touching the top of the frame. Now create a brand new keyframe when you start to appear into the frame, scroll across to the landing, and you want to pull the position down so that we capture the landing on film. Now this looks a lot better, but it's still not quite believable. And that's because there is a lack of motion blur in the frozen layer. So we're gonna select everything that we have and we're gonna press the motion blur tab on the footage. And then we're also going to activate the motion blur by pressing the motion blur box. This will activate the motion blur and this will make that jump look more believable. But there's one more thing that we can do to really sell this effect. And that is adding a little bit of camera shake when the character lands on the ground. So the second that the character lands on the ground, we're going to add some rotation, some scale. We're gonna add a little bit of camera jolt to the footage to make this look really believable. So go ahead and scroll to the point where your character makes contact with the ground for the first time. And we'll go into the null objects. We'll load transform and we'll create a brand new keyframe on position, scale and rotation. Now go ahead, three, four, five, six frames and generate a new keyframe on all of those. So you've got position, scale, and rotation. And then in between those two keyframes, we're gonna increase the scale, we're gonna increase the rotation, and we'll adjust the position if we have to. Now go backwards by one frame, and we'll go to negative two. And if we watch this back, we've got this really cool camera rotation, we've got this little jolt effect happening, and that's really helping to sell the effect. And there you go. Once you're happy with this, you have now successfully completed the superhero landing effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking that circle button and check out the previous video by clicking on this rectangle just over here. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video.